Hi. One of the most common questions I receive is how do you put the mats together? So, my b bot's saying hello. So there are a couple of different ways. There's, this is one way. You can get this clear mat um, from the makers of Bebot, Terrapin are the makers of Bebot, and you can just lift this clear place up and you simply put your um, items on each of the grids and you put it down and then that's it. If you use this mat, here's my tip. Make sure that you store it upright like this because for a long time I folded it up like this and then there were all these bumps and the Bebot got tripped up. So um, it's a great mat and it's very durable and if you want that mat you can go to the website terrapin.com they're the makers of Bebot and it's called a card mat and it sells for about $69.95 and if you use the um, the coupon code Della's free ship, you can get free shipping on that. And it's a great option um, for using Bebot mat, Bebots and DIY mats. So if you like that idea of having just a clear a strip on top, you can also try a clear shower curtain. But be warned, if you use a shower curtain, you really need to tape it down on one side, otherwise it moves around too much. So if you have a dedicated workspace and you can tape the sides of that um, shower curtain down, you can slide the pieces um, for each square underneath it. It's a cheaper option. I don't actually do that because for me, I don't have a space to put down that um, that shower curtain and I have to take it up it's for me it's just too cumbersome so I don't use that but you can use that clear mat but then there's another way when you get your PDF right you're gonna get a piece of paper like this and each um, paper has the square now one way you can just cut out all the squares and tape them together in a grid grid and that is perfectly fine and to be honest with you I think most people do it this way um, just cut them out and tape them together I don't do that because I want a little bit of extra paper around my mat so I always start with the start here and I'm just gonna move my computer over so I start here and I find a large table to work on. So our conference room has a really large table, so I usually use that. Um, sometimes if I'm doing it at home, I literally do it on my dining room table. And I've also just spread out on the floor and done it there. But I start with, start here, and then I take each of the squares that I want and I kind of put them in order. This is spring verbs in order of how I want it to be. You know, I want to have four on the bottom, um, three rows of four. And what I do is I take the start here and I take my very first one. Now I have to put my glasses on because I can't see. And I just cut the edge. I'm cutting right along the, the line and I will tape that right next to each other like that and then I take the next one and I do the exact same thing I cut right on that line and now I'm gonna tape that on like that I like having that little bit of extra space because it gives you can see a little edge around the mat and and I like that so I will do that with the first row then when you get to the second row, what I do is now I'm going to build up. So now I'm going to cut off the bottom. I can't do this upside down. And now because I left this top piece, this goes on top nice and easily. And I can just line it up perfectly. And I keep this piece over here. But right here, I just always snip off 
the corner it's just neater so I have my bottom row and now I'm starting on my next row and here I have this one and I keep up the same um, strategy where I'm cutting it off on the side and this and now because it's up I have to cut off the bottom doing this quickly so it's not perfect and I would put it right on top so I'm going to try to hold this up so you can see so it's going to look like that and now again I cut off this piece because otherwise it kind of overlaps and I continue so my second row um, doesn't have anything because it's going to go like this and I continue the whole way until my mat is completely set up and then I make sure that I tape it and when I tape it this is when you really want to make sure that it's lined up correctly because this is the important part right make sure that it's straight and I always make sure I put tape here and I put tape down here always in those corners because that's the critical piece so go ahead and tape all those pieces together and then you have a couple of choices. So if you have a laminator in your building, you can just laminate it and you're done. And now your mat is finished. If you don't have a laminator in your building, you can go to Lakeshore and they have a big, if you have a Lakeshore near you, there's a big laminator there and it's only, I think it's like 20 cents a yard. So you can laminate the mat for less than a dollar. Um, another option that I sometimes use I like to roll up my mats so I just laminate them as they are but if it's something um, that I want a little sturdier once I have the mat put together I'll put it on a piece of chart paper or a poster board before I laminate it and that gives it a little bit more oomph and I can keep it a little bit better but keep in mind if you put a piece of chart paper or poster board behind it you're not going to be able to roll up the mat so that's just something to keep in mind depending upon how you're storing your mats um, you may or may not want to have them so that they can roll up but that is how I um, make my mats and it's actually something that takes me about 10 minutes to put a mat together it's a great activity if you have a power professional if you have a parent volunteer all you have to do is kind of show them once what you want and then let them go and you can put all your mats together for the month give them an hour and they can put all the mats together for the month and you're done and it's really it's nice to have all those mats so if you have any questions please reach out to me. Um, this is my new spring verbs. And for those of you in the membership, it will be part of the first month's membership. And if you're not in my membership, it will be included later, but my membership people get the first dibs on it. So um, I hope that that answers all your questions on how to put together your mats. And like I said, if you have any questions, just reach out to me. There's no perfect way. There's no one way is the right way. Whatever way works for you, works for you. Thank you.